Make up your mind, you're going to keep your mind right here, right at the breath. What does it mean to make up your mind? It means that you have to talk to yourself, because the mind is like many people. You wonder why you have to talk to yourself, who's talking to whom inside. Well, just assume that there are many people in there who need to be instructed that we're all going to work together on this one thing. We're going to stay with the breath. And it's not just going to be a one breath or two breaths. You're going to try to stay throughout the whole session. So if anything else comes up, you've already made a law for yourself that you're not going to go for the other things. You're going to stay right here. It's this ability to make laws for yourself. This is what gives you a sense of your own power. We live in a world where it seems all the laws are made by other people, and they're pretty restrictive sometimes. Other times they're for our own good. You want to make sure that the laws you make for yourself though, are for your own good, that you decide that this is what I want to do and you stick with it. This, of course, is the time of year when people make resolutions. And it's good to think about what makes a good res resolution. First, you have to use your discernment. But that's the most important quality of all. It's your discernment that allows you to figure out what is a good goal to aim for and how to go about it. And as Buddha said, the other qualities of a good determination are that you're true, that you learn how to give things up, and that you're calm. But it requires discernment in all those cases. How do you stay true to your initial attention when something comes up that you would actually prefer to do at that moment? You have to keep reminding yourself, okay, in the long term, you'll be glad you stuck with your original intention. And you have to know how to talk to yourself in such a way that you'll be happy to abandon that other course of action and stick with what you know is really good. That means, of course, that the abandoning is giving up of unskillful things that get in the way of your intention. And calm. You have to realize that the results of your good intentions, of what you see would be good for yourself, may not come for a while. But you don't let yourself get worked up about that. And sometimes parts of the mind may miss the things that you're used to do that you're trying to give up. But you have to calm them down. Say, this is for your own good. Remind yourself, and again, you use your discernment to remind yourself that this is for the sake of happiness. Because when we talk about rules and determinations, it sounds like it's going against what we want, but we, the mind has lots of wants, lots of desires. What you're doing is simply taking one set of desires and you're giving them priority. So you remind yourself, okay, this is for your long-term welfare and happiness. For example, you decide to be stricter with yourself about the precepts, especially the precepts around the mouth. No lying, no divisive speech, no harsh speech, no idle chatter. Think about what that will mean as you go through the day, the things you used to say that you can't say anymore. And how do you express yourself in ways that stay within the bounds of right speech? It's a good test for your discernment and for your truthfulness and for your ability to give things up that you know are unskillful and for your ability to keep your mind calm so you can stick with this all the way through. So use your discernment in deciding what would be a good course of action to take, and then stick with that. Now, if you see that what you chose to do ends up causing trouble, okay, then you can change. But be very careful about how you judge that trouble. Sometimes it just goes against your greed, aversion, and delusion, in which case it's not really trouble at all. It troubles your defilements. But it's good for your long-term happiness and welfare. It's when you see that your long-term welfare and happiness is being harmed by your determination, that's when you change. But overall, it's, it's your discernment that is going to lead the way. So make sure that you're wise in choosing what resolutions you're going to follow this year and how to go about it so you actually succeed.